You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, reverb boy. Yeah, with a dreadful echo and a fuzzy nose going on up here. Thought, I don't even know at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So in the midst of this human malware crisis, uh, everyone's being sent home and uh, Autodesk are trying to do their thing to make things a little bit easier for people, I suppose. So last week they put out that statement, uh, which pushed back the dates of the retirement plans for multi-user licenses. Uh, but War Andy's put out another statement on the website, so I'll head on over and read you that out because it's something you can use. So he's giving the gift of cloud collaboration, pretty much. How Autodesk is helping customers and employees impacted by human malware. So scroll down to customers and partners. There's a link in the description if you want to jump to this yourself. Autodesk offers free and extended access to cloud collaboration products March 19th. As Autodesk keeps a close eye on impact on human malware, impact on our industry, biggest challenges, support customers. All right, start from here. This is where the juicy stuff begins. Beginning in the next several days, customers can get free access to select Autodesk products and services. Products and services will include, not just, but will include BIM 360 Docs, BIM 360 Design, Fusion 360, Fusion Team, AutoCAD Web and Mobile, and Shotgun. Shotgun's cool. Even if you're just thinking, I don't even know what it is. If you've got, if you've got an hour, go check out Shotgun. It's really cool. Or for commercial use. So you can, you can use these and make money at the same time. So it's, yeah, yeah, there's the, no limits. Just sign up and try them, even for work. You might think, oh, I don't want to use this. I've got no use for it, but hey, you're allowed to. Give it a shot. Uh, customers can take advantage of this program by visiting Autodesk.com and following the steps they'd normally take to sign up for an Autodesk product trial on our website. We know this will be an imperfect experience in some ways, but as stated earlier, our goal is to give customers access to the program as quickly as possible, leveraging our existing product trial experience on Autodesk is the most effective way to do this. So basically they're saying to get this up and running as quickly as possible, we're just going to get people to sign up for a trial, which would have been 30 or 31 days. But instead of that, they're just going to make it a, I think a two month, or just make it a longer trial instead of it just being a 30 day trial. Uh, so customers can take advantage of the extended access program until May 31st, 2020. However, we will continue to evaluate the potential expansion of this program as the needs are of our customers warrant. So sign up for a free trial of any of those services. Uh, you can go to the Autodesk.com. You should be able to see links there. I, I'm not going to try it here. I want to make this as short as possible. Uh, sign up for a free trial. That'll go on to May 31st, 2020. But like I've said, if the human malware situation escalates, they could extend that. And then they could add in extra services as time goes on. Uh, and then you can use it for work. Happy days. So just to counteract anyone going, oh, see, notice they didn't include generative design. <laughs> They're so tight and cheap, They're so stingy. I think there's, there's reason and logic around the services that they've included here. This is more to help people collaborate. It's not like, oh, you're going to be bored at home, aren't you, because you're isolated. Well, here's something to play with. It's not about that. It, this is about like, right, teams of people are going to be sent home. Here's some services to help you all collaborate and work together. So he's also said, uh, let me be clear, we're not introducing this program to convert customers into paying users. That's another thing, you know, they tend to get criticized whenever they, they offer, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a, they give someone an olive branch and they're like, look, we're actually trying to be nice. And then everyone just sort of beats them down. Like, yeah, we only do it because you want money. Well, they are a business after all. I mean, come on. So it's not about just giving people stuff to play with when they're bored. It's about helping teams who are going to fragment helping them collaborate once they've all fragmented and gone home. And that's the, I think, the reasoning and logic around what services have been given here for uh, for free. Uh, and there you go. Right. So yeah, I, was, I would probably just bookmark this and keep an eye on it because this seems to be like a like a feed of all the, the, the latest announcements that Andy is pushing. So yeah, bookmark this and then keep checking back on it. What can you do? It's happening. It's happening. So check out the other couple of videos I've released today. At the start of today, I released a video on if you are working from home or if you're planning on working from home, uh, I showed and demonstrated a virtualization option for virtualizing workstations and then accessing them through your web browser. Now, if you're working from home, it's just an alternative to VPN and remote desktop into an Office PC. And then the video before this one was, uh, I haven't even rendered it yet and I forgot what it was. Uh, Oh, yeah, it was clarifying the virtualization policy. 
so yeah by all means check those out uh and then yeah yeah good luck stay safe and all that i mean stay safe there's nothing you can do about it. it's not like you intentionally go out and try and catch a, a disease or, anything, or a virus but anyway thanks a lot that's all i've got see you in the next one Ooh.